Hello everyone, my name is Michael Sherman and I'm from the Paduk Scholars. I'm uh, American 2Q. I wanted to point this out because I was playing The Conquest of Go. And this game uh, can be a little difficult, even for me, um, being close to one down and all. Uh, I was playing against Ganubot uh, at level 1. And then with each victory, I ended up uh, ranking the robot up. The robot got up to level 20, which I don't know uh, what rank that is, you know, compared to the regular ranking systems. But I can tell you that it was quite difficult. And from a lot of the comments I've been seeing on Reddit and Facebook, uh, this game can be quite difficult for beginners. Uh, but I wanted to put out this review. So, why don't we show off the gameplay? Uh, to give a little more of an introduction, I should mention uh, this game was made by Wolfie Studios and it was released on Steam December 7th in early access. So the game is still receiving plenty of work and patches. Uh, but let's begin on the gameplay. Alright, so as for gameplay, uh, I'll show you one of my files. I've kind of been screwing it up <laughs> trying to make takes for this review. I've been uh, starting battles and not finishing them the here. But uh, let's talk about it. Uh, so this is the world map. Uh, right now this game has 19 um, islands or countries or land and each one of them are named to give you um, an easier way to I guess identify them. You got Srendale and Azario and Belfast and Valeras. Um, so each place, as you can see, has numbers here. So this is the last time I played here, I won by 54 points. Uh, it's a 13 by 13. This one up here is a 19 by 19. I won by resignation the last time I played it. This right now is contested. It has a game like waiting for me to continue. Um, and same with this one. Uh, so for gameplay, essentially all you have to do is click on a land and usually it zooms in oh well usually it zooms in so you can see it oh man i didn't mean to really start a game but i guess we'll continue this for the review essentially uh you click on a land that you want to play on and then you play the game of go if you know the rules and how to play then i think you already understand the gameplay the added features are you can get resources Although, that's a con right now for me, I have no clue how to get more resources. And I don't see a tutorial or in the glossary how to get more. But um, essentially, when you have resources, you can use these little powers. You can undo, uh, mark territory, and you can even find the best moves. Um, since I've been using these resources for my review, I've been eating them up. But... Uh, I think you get the gist of it, and for me, and I'm sure most people, they just want to play the game to have fun, but they don't need these special buttons, except undo. I did use undo a few times, um, but let's continue. Um, as you can see, these when you play stones, to me they look like the top of castle towers, which is kind of fun, uh, and you can see they make walkways when the stones are closely connected, and they're actually connected. Um, the new bot is very difficult, so without me focusing, I'm not going to do well here. But And there's really not much more to say other than that this is the gameplay of the game. But you can see that uh, you can change the map. Uh, white hurts my eyes a lot, but all the other maps are pretty nice. Desert map, classic. I will say I don't like the, the noises for the classic, like when you play a stone. It makes this little noise, and uh, I don't like it. And it's not as dramatic. Like if we go back to the this one, you'll see like when you place a move, uh, the dust like kicks up, right? Like there's dust, and uh, it makes this nice plunk noise, like plunk. Um, so that's one of the pros that I have lined up for this game. Um, Still playing the game. Uh, I should be focusing on the review, but that's okay. I mean, you guys came here to check it out. 
Man, this is a very unofficial review. I'm not like a YouTube star, unfortunately. Um, I'm sure you guys see that in my editing skills all the time, that I'm not a YouTube star. <laughs> um, but to continue... Uh, this is the gameplay. One thing I like, if you notice, the stones get cracked. Like, they have wooden planks and are cracked like this here. When the stones are in Atari. So I like the little animation. Um... I'm actually surprised I'm playing white. This is the first time I'm playing white. Um... I want to create a snapback. Eh, not really. Just take them. I love that whoom noise. So I like enjoy the sound effects and it shows the little uh, crumple or pebbles of like the stones after they've been uh, killed. I think that's really fun. So the presentation for this game is pretty uh pretty nice. Would I say top notch? Eh, I'll say pretty nice. Let's see. Can I kill this? I should some thinking so it's seven spaces here usually seven spaces means alive uh, I'm probably embarrassing myself with my bad life and death knowledge here um, if I play here can he make life right away I feel like you'll have trouble making life here I'm gonna cut this out. <laughs> I'm gonna or fast forward this or something. Okay. I'm sure, I'm making a fool of myself here. This is Ko? This is Ko, huh? I don't have any Ko threats, but neither does he. Oh yeah, so if he doesn't have any Ko threats, then I'm the one in trouble, huh? Actually, this is a pretty good Ko threat. He's looking pretty dead. Sweet. Did I... <laughs> did I do uh, the life and death well? Or did Gnu do a bad job with life and death? Uh, let the audience let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay. He passed. I'll pass. And I win by 33 points. Freaking sweet. Okay. So you win. So when you win, you get experience points. Um, and you get, yeah, you get experience points. And the AI difficulty goes up. So it just keeps going up. I don't know where the cap is. I beat the game when it was 20. Um, but yay, I beat a game on file. Uh, on the review so good job me so why don't we review a game so uh, let's check the reviewing system in this game I gotta say I gotta be honest with you I don't really enjoy the reviewing in this game um, I'll show you it there are some things I do like um, so maybe we should talk about what I do like about it let's take a look at um, this game one thing I like is when the games are over, it shows like these villages being built behind your territory, right? Ah, and that's how you get the resources. I've never gotten resources until just now. Um, when I reviewed games before, they didn't have these cool little villages and these buttons here. So I'm wondering if these were just patched in today because I played a lot uh, earlier today yesterday and they didn't have these so this is kind of nice so that's how you get resources that helps out but let's talk about what I like about the review one is I like the visual effects this looks really cool 
Um, and then two, I like this. You will, you'll see when I click a move, it has comments on these three moves, those three pluses. And uh, it goes through the game very quickly, which is fun to watch. And then it'll comment on like what's going on. So I guess in the game I played here during this point of time, uh, it says the highlighted move played at H9 resulted in an estimated match score. Um, compared to the AI's top recommendation, okay, plus. Let's see. The blacks uh, uh, should have played here immediately. That's what the computer's telling me. I would have won by even more points, by like nine extra points if I uh, played the way that the computer played. But let's go. So that, that's what I like about it, the visual effects. And it is kind of nice looking at these commented moves. It's interesting that it comes up with these comments. Uh, but I'll sh let's talk about like reviewing it regularly. Why does this not look right? There should be like win rate and stuff over here. Well, let me get to the camp. Oh, it's probably because I clicked uh, the plus sign. So let me do that again. This one. And let's just review the match regularly. Okay, so you know, with the board set up the way it is, um, this was an uh, invading uh, match. So essentially, the enemy computer invaded my land, and then by the time that I clicked onto the game of the invasion, it sets up stones. So um, it automatically puts you into a board position, which is kind of fun, actually. Uh, this was a very unique one and kind of tough for me at first, but I ended up winning uh, by resignation. So, uh, board analysis. This will show you all sorts of variations. Now, my problem with the variations is when you hit board analysis, uh, it goes on for a little while. And then when you highlight the best move, it will show you like what the computer thinks the best variations are. But here's the problem. I can't play through them. Um, in OGS Premium and AI Sensei, they will allow you to play through the moves slowly so you can contemplate each move, you know, um, you know, with, you know, just have time to contemplate each move. But in this, uh, they show all the moves right away. You can't play through them, so you can't like absorb them through, you know, watching them slowly. And then when you move your cursor away a little bit, it takes them all away. Um, so you can't even, you know, you can't really look through them. It's, an, it's hard to explain, but the idea is that unfortunately, I don't like that all the moves are shown right away. Like I like to play through them slowly and contemplate each move. Um, maybe that's just a me problem, but it's a gripe that I have. The other thing is, There. When it comes to the reviewing, oh, you can't place down stones, so you can't create your own variations. Um, essentially, you know, OGS, KGS, AI Sensei, any Go server allows you to put down stones so you can make your own variations and test your own theories. But in this review game, um, well, the review section of this game, you can't do it, um, which in my opinion, stinks. <laughs> so I don't like the computer variations, and I don't like that you can't place your own stones. Unfortunately, these kind of break. Um, these kind of really take me away, like from enjoying the review section. Um, and that's really it. I don't know. If, we could go over it. Uh, we could click all the buttons here. Uh, this shows your territory analysis, which I kind of don't like. Um, I'm sure there are some people who enjoy this feature, but I'm not really a big fan of it. The win rate um, and score rate, I'm not a big fan of either, unfortunately. Uh, it's kind of slow. And although you can see a visual representation of it, like if you look at AGS or AI Sensei, it'll show you the number right away. Here you have to click it, 
and to me it's a little obnoxious so if I make another move it's gonna change right but for some reason even though the the graph is changing the number isn't changing it stays there maybe that's just a glitch or something so you have to continue to re-click all the numbers um, and I find that like kind of obnoxious in both AI uh, Sensei and OGS it shows the numbers uh, at all times so it's kind of easy to use um, compared to this so other than that you can uh, you can change the boards which is fun <laughs> And you can change the music, you can show the tree, which the tree is kind of funny to me because since you can't make any variations, like why show the tree, you know what I mean? Even if I have a computer variation, it doesn't change on that tree, so I don't know. Um, SGF output. Oh, it's just this. It shows you the details. But I think that I'll end the review section here. All right, so this is the conclusion portion. This is where I'm just going to talk about the pros and cons of the game I enjoy and what I didn't enjoy. Um, I do love the artwork. I really like the aesthetics of the game. I like the little castle stones and how they connect. And when you're in Atari, the wood breaks. I like the noises and the music of this game. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I especially like like the capturing noises and the crack of the wood when you're getting atari um i think it's somewhat fun to play the computer um i will say this is the most go i've played in a long time i played over 50 games within 11 hours so uh it got me to play a lot more go very quickly which is you know pretty awesome i mean i can't say that's a bad thing uh in really was fun i had a good time actually playing the game um other pros uh, i think that's really it uh for the cons the biggest one was i did not like the review system at all so uh that was really big for me because uh you know the whole goal of like for me uh or my uh aspirations for this game was that I could use this game to practice and review games and get stronger um, but unfortunately I felt like the review system just wasn't my cup of tea uh, I think AI Sensei and the premium OGS server uh, does the review better unfortunately they're just not as pretty like I love the aesthetics of this game um, so that was a big point for me that was a big selling point and a big like you know, uh, con for me as well. Uh, other cons, there were some glitches I ran into, but uh, even by day two, I feel like they've already patched the game a few times that uh, fixed some of the errors. Like on day one, I couldn't play Katago after like one or two games because the computer just stopped moving. And it literally, I could let him time out and I'd win by timeout. I'd wait the whole 20 minutes. Um, but that was fixed. And then there was some issues with, I think, getting resources. Uh, it was only when this game patched this evening, and this is only day two, that I started receiving resources when I checked the reviews for games. But that wasn't working for me uh, on the day one and this morning when I was doing all my recording. Um, so the, the glitches are calm, but I think they're going to be patched. I mean, it's early access. So they seem to be doing a really good job at that. And for the most part, this game runs very well. Uh, there was one glitch where the time switched. So when I wasn't moving, the enemy's timer was going down. And then when he was not moving, my timer was going down. So that was kind of an interesting glitch. Um, but to finish off this review... Uh, what do I think of it? Like, is it worth the money? Is it fun? Is it worth the buy? The game is fun. Uh, is it worth the buy? Uh, it depends on your financial situation. Uh, I'm broke as a joke. <laughs> uh, but I couldn't help but not get it. And then I also bought it for my roommate because he asked for it. And uh, his birthday was the next day and Christmas is coming up. So I got him a copy of the game as well. Um... I, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed my time playing it. 
once again, the reviews were just the most disappointing part to me. But everything else was pretty fun. Will I play it again? I might I might continue to play uh, Katago a little bit. Katago, I cannot even be on level 1. So, you know, if the game keeps improving and, you know, maybe I can suck up some of the gripes I have for the review, I can play Katago and get some reviews in. But, um, yeah, uh, when the game fully releases, I'll play it again. But to end my... Uh, retrospective of the game uh i did have a fun time and i guess i do recommend it uh right here is the ending screen where it shows i beat the game you know campaign stats congratulations you conquered the whole map um so sorry if i spoiled what the ending looks like um <laughs> oh some suggestions for the game that's what i wanted to talk about so i'm gonna actually look through some more of my old footage We'll just pick a game, like we'll pick here, you know. Hopefully I can get it to run. Here we go. So, um, some suggestions. Unfortunately, with the campaign being what it is, you just pick maps and con beat a game and then conquer the land. Uh, it would really be nice if there was, like, some type of story. It would be nice if, um, like, there was enemy generals with their own personalities and uh you know when you beat them or uh, you know they're they're upset in some way and if you lose to them they're cocky or like happy you know like it needs some personality um one game i really enjoyed is advanced wars as a kid and those had plenty of generals and like a lot of personality that's just a small example if you wanted to look up advanced wars i'm, I'm talking to these suggestions are for the creator if he ever watches my review. Um, the other thing is, in the review system, definitely add to be able to make your own variations. Like, being able to place down stones is so crucial to reviewing a game. Um, so I think that should be, like, one of the number one priorities, in my personal opinion. Um... I had a list of suggestions. Maybe I should look them up real quick. Uh, it looks unpro to me. It looks kind of crummy and unprofessional on the review, but this is for the betterment of everybody, right? Um, problems would be nice. Oh yes. Uh, so problems. Those would be nice. Let me just create a character. Make a rank chart. Okay. Improve reviewing system. Okay. <laughs> so back to this. Um, Problems. It would be awesome if you made problems. Like, if there was lists of problems and you got, like, resources or achievements or, you know, just to enjoy playing the problems and getting them solved. It would be really cool to see, uh, have that into the game. I know it wasn't promised in the game. I've checked the Steam page multiple times. So it's not a gripe that they're not in there. This is just a suggestion. Um, a ranking system would be really, really nice. Uh, seeing GNU go at level 1 or level 20, like, what's the ranking difference? I can't tell. So it's a little frustrating. Like, and Katago is so much stronger than GNU, like, by miles and miles. So it's like, you know, it'd be nice to know what rank you're facing. Um, like, if Katago was, like, I don't know, 5 Don or 4 Don or something, and GNU go at level 1 was, like, thank you. I, I think... Uh, that's how I felt anyway when I was playing these games. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's it. That's all I, remember. I guess I have to suggest. Um, thank you for watching. I know this was a very long review. Um, but I also hope that you guys put comments down below and like, you know, tell me your experience. And I hope you guys enjoy this game. I do like Wolfie Studio. I support them 100%. This is awesome. I hope they continue with their work and uh, do a great job. And I'll continue to play their game, especially when it fully releases. So thank you for watching. Have a good one.